The locals here know every nook and cranny of the swamp. Vegetation salinity zones in this area include fresh marsh, intermediate marsh, brackish marsh, and saline marsh. The resilient bullshark is able to navigate all of them with ease. Random mutations aren't. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. Bayou Brawler, the American Alligator. star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show, but our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity. The vicious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is there to find the tree. A stalking shark is a mysterious ballet governed by unknowable agencies.
1920s, you could buy turtle soup in a can. Of course, back then, there was a high chance you'd die of tuberculosis, so there are trade-offs. Not really a gourmand. The bull shark will eat just about anything. to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. The predator's torpedo-like form allows her to navigate the area efficiently. The appetite of this shark is merely insatiable. In spite of their reputations as wrestlers, alligators haven't mastered the nuances of scientific holds like the figure four.
shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Any body of water saturated with sewage or slaughterhouse wastes can be quite appealing to sharks. to our ocean seem overwhelming, but by working together now, we can ensure that future generations always have a place to dump their old tires. Destruction of natural coastal habitats is sometimes necessary to build vacation homes for private equity fund partners. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death.
Back aboard the Cajun Queen, family tensions are at an all-time high. Kyle, what's wrong? Can you catch no reef? I can't, but this one's like 20 feet. 15. Whatever. Can't do it. I'll come out there, I'll do it. The old man with one hand. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't be mutilating baby sharks. What are you saying? Nothing. <laughs> Boy, I couldn't catch in a diaper. You telling me how to hunt a shark? Believe that? I mean, I came down here thinking it'd be a good opportunity for some father-son bonding. But now, I don't know. I might start looking for another summer job. Hey, not everybody made to be a fisherman. I just hope this whole university thing works out for him, yeah? Tigaroos are part of a complete balanced breakfast for anyone aspiring to one day suffer from fatty liver disease. Sapphire Bay's famous Pier 1 provides visitors with plenty of ski ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. Long a haven for small government ideologues, Port Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement park safety standards. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food.
Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Well known, volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls. They will stab you in the back the first chance they get. Shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybell Bryant has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. Sharks are responsible for just 3% of hunter deaths. Drugs, alcohol, and poor firearm handling account for the rest. on humans under unique circumstances.
the corn-fed colossus, Butcher Boy Brady. The latest cycle of attacks will certainly be among the most infamous chapters in the long troubled history of human shark relations. A close encounter of the deadliest kind. Consequences shark attacks can have on coastal communities, it's surprising they don't do more to minimize their possibility. for the same reason we all do, to feel complete. attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and strange looking.
shark hunting sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators. Take God to the garden when he wasn't nothing but an itty bitty boy. The fact that he was afraid of that Ferris wheel, he have told me he wasn't never gonna be no shark hunter. There's no such thing as a recession proof business, except for the frozen banana stand. Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable, quality frozen bananas remains a constant. Never one to pass up a fat fiesta. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flots of jets. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's violence. supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. The shark hunters get serious about finding our bull shark before kickoff. Believe it or not, people paid over $12,000 to sleep in these tents and listen to Swedish DJs for an entire weekend. Protein makes a great between meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. Don't think we're going to make any more headway today. The battle is over, but the war goes on. Bull sharks have been known to eat echinoderms when desperate, to which I can very much relate.
Like most American cities, the founders of Port Clovis were Freemasons. And probably Illuminati, who congregated in secret UFO bases to perform Luciferian blood rituals. It's remarkable how quickly Port Clovis takes up arms in the name of a murderous cause. They say I used to be my favorite lighthouse. I had a keeper named Emil. Always had the best more liquor. Now they got it automated. I'll tell you, that the crew's a lot less fun than we if only someone had done their sixth grade reading assignment, perhaps this tragedy could have been avoided. The evolutionary anomaly, the hammer. superior depth perception. As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. Well, you want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that, was to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Oh, you don't like me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not, not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also stuff like misspelling. But, I just say, maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings. That's the one who took my hand, all right? 
Get yourself ready, boy. Now we playing with Bow. Y'all working my last nerve, Freddy. Somebody get down there. Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she at? I don't know. Ah! Big enough to touch him now, ain't you? Connor! Get that can! Down, sir! Pete, get to us! What remains of the boat lurches, then slowly sinks to the bottom of the sea. The shark is now an elder, and thus begins a new battle against systemic age discrimination. 